Okay. Well, I'm going to go through um, the planning that I did before uh, I got started thinking about all of the different things that I might want to put on the science page uh, of the um, first site, you know, the first SharePoint site. Um, so I, um, I got thinking with a piece of paper and I basically went through um, some ideas like this. Uh, the people involved in the, um, the science department and the parents and the pupils who come to the school, um, they're, they're the sort of stakeholders. So there's the science department, you know, there's the girls, the boys, one teacher boy, one technician boy. There's some uh, people down here, uh, parents, and, um, and there's a pupil. Okay, they don't look like pupils, but just go with it. And here's the uh, sort of mock-up uh, of the science area on the home page of the uh, SharePoint VLE. Now it strikes me that the um, the thing that most parents are going to want and most pupils are going to want um, is uh, basically access to materials which are to do with the courses that they're going on and uh, what they're doing. And so the courses uh, that we run in science, apart from the Key Stage 3, we do BTEC Science, Double Award and Triple Award. So there's probably going to be some sites that we'll make up. Now uh, this does not mean I'm going to be uh, suggesting we head straight off and build those web pages from um, the first um, page down here because that's not what I want to do. I want to go through um, a planning idea first. Uh, so with that in mind, okay, uh, these sites are going to have to have uh, something to populate them, to some, some uh, content as it were. Uh, but the organisation and the layout and the themes and uh, everything else to do with those sites can just wait a bit because um, we've got some thinking to do first. So let's get cracking. Uh, things that I thought we would need in science are of course we need some uh, course documents. Uh, we need to put them in a place which uh, SharePoint calls a library and uh, they're the mundane things like the specifications, revision guides, uh, old past papers, you know, all those sorts of things which traditionally you would uh, expect to see on say a double award science site, um, you know, that's going to contain those um, and in, in science it means you know, biology, chemistry and physics and they will get put in that library and that library will, will, will serve a purpose we'll see later on. Um, and also, um, peculiar to all departments, we all have our own uh, uh, administrating documents, uh, which which we need. You know, um, self evaluation forms um, that we filled in um, just uh, today. In fact, uh, the twenty uh, eighth of um, June, um, and, and all the other stuff. You know. Um, things that we need to get ready for Ofsted reports, uh, really, really mundane things in science like equipment lists, uh, sort of schemes of work, things like that. They all go in uh, something that I, I'm going to call the department admin docs. Okay. Uh, moving on, we've got a task management tool, really, really handy for heads of department to assign tasks, do by dates, uh, sort of precedent tasks which need to be completed before certain tasks can uh, go forward. Uh, and keep track on what's going on and everybody else who has a task can also see what sort of tasks they've got. Well, um, SharePoint has these tools. Uh, I don't think they call them tools, they call them something else, but it is in effect a tool uh, which you administer through um, a, a web browser. And so there's plenty of those tools. And so I think one of those would be really good for science as well. Um, useful contacts, uh, peculiar to science uh, perhaps, but there's lots of equipment suppliers uh, loads of sort of science contacts throughout the city, baths, universities, museums, etc. And it's very useful to have all of those contacts in one place. And there is such a tool in SharePoint which will do that. Maybe other departments uh, have a whole bunch of contacts which it would be very handy to have in one central place as well. I don't know, but uh, we certainly need one in science. Uh, right, calendar tools. Uh, good for keeping track of what's going on and sharing that with the kids that's why it's in blue all the previous stuff in brown is basically stuff that um, uh, we, we want to keep out of sight of the kids because it's it's no use to them no point in them and also we don't want them breaking anything uh, so um, like a calendar tool okay you can put news in calendar tools uh, in calendars that you have um, but it's nicer to have a bit of a splash on a front page for the science site you know, you know we're going on a trip hey, hey and then um, that's what a news or announcement tool is for. Uh, the kids want to see that, that's why it's in blue. Uh, similarly with surveys and polls, wouldn't it be a good idea if after a topic's been taught or uh, after a sort of uh, a certain amount of work's been done that uh, we, we, we survey the kids and ask them their thoughts, you know, did we teach you well? Did we, you know, did, did we get the message 
across, you know, what could we improve? Uh, and that would tick a lot of boxes in our development plans for uh, personalising learning. So uh, just remember that, you heads of department. Um, also, a picture library. Um, if you're making a site later on, like uh, these things up here, um, I don't know if you can see the mouse on this, um, if you want to make a site, you're going to need some pictures. And um, SharePoint has a nice surprise for you. You have to put all of the pictures into SharePoint before you can use them, or it's a very good idea to. So if you're wanting to make a little site for something, uh, one reason or another, uh, choose your images carefully, put them into a picture library, and it's easier to access. And if they're nice pictures, say you've been on a, uh, a school trip uh, and you, you know, you've know, you taken some great photos that you want to share, you can put them in the picture library and, and they're there to go as well. Uh, lastly, but absolutely not leastly, the most important member of our science department is the technician and an inventory tool to keep track of everything we've got. Other departments will obviously have textbooks uh, and other uh, sort of pieces of equipment which are peculiar to that department. Uh, we've got stacks, so we would really do with an inventory tool, and there is such a tool in SharePoint. So I thought that would be a good idea to use that tool there. Now, the meat and two veg, if you like, of day to day interaction between the uh, sort of people over down here, these stakeholders, and these stakeholders here can be really uh, sort of um, um, improved if uh, we all do something called blogs. Okay. Well, there's a little line gone across the top there. Uh, that course document library is the thing which feeds documents into these sites. If you don't have any document libraries for the sites, you don't have any documents to put in. But on the day-to-day, -day, getting back to it, uh, we've got some really interesting things. So we're going to just use blogs. Blogs are really, 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 and did I say that again, really good for um, communicating in, in a very, very clear, regular, uh, and, and nice and fun and, and sort of informal way with uh, the people that you teach. And if you blog and share ideas, and uh, you can invite pupils to sort of have uh, be, be guest bloggers on your blog if they do something particularly wonderful, they're fantastic ways to share uh, information and skills and, uh, and, and really get things moving along. Also, they're easy to do. And uh, later on, I'm going to suggest that once the blogs have been set up for all the different members of your department, that that's the thing that you concentrate on uh, working uh, with to begin with, simply because uh, you can uh, cut your teeth and hone your skills in there, uh, and it, the rest of the place, uh, the rest of the um, sort of domain that you have for your uh, particular department isn't going to seem so threatening and intimidating afterwards. So here we go. Um, what does it all look like? Well. I'm going to suggest not making this front page for science into a web page in itself. More th think of it more as a launch pad, if you like. Okay. So on the, on the left, okay, we've got uh, what Microsoft cunningly calls a contents editor. To you and me, it's a text box which sometimes you can throw a picture into. Uh, but I thought it would be nice, science department, little title, uh, an introduction from the head of the department, a list of the staff, it's always nice to know who's teaching your children, uh, and the courses that are offered, you don't want to go fishing around down the umpteenth mouse click before you find which courses are offered, and maybe something a little bit extracurricular, uh, you know, so, so some nice things about the, the good things that your child is going to experience when they, when they do science at Sally Park. Now, over to the right, okay, table of contents. There's a tool... Uh, it's not a tool, they call it a web part. Um, Google call them gadgets or widgets, or Apple call them widgets or gadgets, uh, but basically it's a container uh, for storing information that you can then put into your web browser. And this table of contents uh, web part, um, I'm going to suggest that uh, I'm going to mock up uh, here all of the things that I've kind of uh, brainstormed is a too strong a word. Um, so but all of the things I've just been talking about on the previous slide are down here. And this table of contents will simply uh, be a launch pad for other pages, other sites, other tools that staff and pupils can access. These things at the top here, they're um, from useful contacts up to science admin documents. Like they're things I don't want parents or kids getting anywhere near because uh, they'll break it and it's got nothing to do with them. It's just the mundanity of uh, sort of administering uh, a department. The middle bit, okay, calendars, news, polls, surveys and blog lists from staff. Well, yeah, we do want that. So uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, all of the things that I create, all of these bullet points I will be creating, um, I want them to be available on the science homepage. And you do that just by having a table of contents. It's as simple as that. 
Um, so that's it. So um, I, I had a bit of a plan uh, for uh, an hour and a half, a couple of hours uh, on a Tuesday afternoon, and this is what I came up with. Now I expect it's going to be um, added to. I mean, if uh, we are going to get to the stage where we're going to do loads more other stuff, um, well we'll have our skills honed by then and we'll know what's going on. So there you go, that's what I uh, have planned out.